Hello MechWarriors, how is it going? And welcome to another episode of MechWarrior 5 Mercenaries. We are going to try to find some more Assault Mech parts today. We want to get some items for our big boys. We are preparing for the super late game and uh, yeah, that's gonna be good. So we have a rare Kentaro on this planet that I didn't check out by the way, but it's just a 20. Okay, cool. So last time we left off, we were at Kansu. We wanted to go more into the core of the inner sphere because this is where we find the higher tier missions, but since there is a hero mech here on the market, I need to check it out. We want to take it, uh, take a look at it and see if it's good or not. We also have the ability to take another look at another store here, which is great. It's only the Fang. Fang is fine. It's all right. But it's a, it's a 60 tonner, so we don't want that guy right now. Let's go ahead and take a look at the, um, the market. We can get more UAVs, which I would probably get. Also, evasion support is nice. Compact legs. Oh my god. Wait, no. Compact lower arm. What am I looking at here? Um, they don't really work that well. It says arm twist modifier. But I have the feeling that the torso twist is very much affected by it as well. And that's a thing that I don't like too much. So let's not take it. We have hardened armor. Structure endo. Targeting computer. Sniper sensor is a good one. Also, powered sensor is a good one. We should probably stock up on some more sensors. Okay, here we go. Heavy duty. What are you? You get more structure points. Better twist rate and angle. Turn speed modifier. Acceleration and deceleration. Weighs four tons, though. Ooh, that's big. I don't think I want it. I don't think it's worth it. Also, arrow ammo double. Let me take some of these still. We got some ATM double. I think at some point we probably want to get ATMs. Heavy machine gun ammo clan. Sure, I'll buy them. Really want to make a machine gun build happen, by the way. At some point. Really hope that we can find the arrow, the blackjack hero. Okay, weapon systems. Quickly checking here. Assault claymore. Go, Gatlings. Yep. Yep, that's what I'm talking about, man. All right, it's gonna be amazing. Also, these small heavy lasers. Ah. Like, super short range. But well, they have a damage per second of 1.7, roughly, which is good for a half-ton weapon. I buy them out. We are in the, in the process of just getting stuff for potential builds. 3 LRM-15 clan is also in... This is pretty good, man. I buy him. Also, I think I spotted a plasma cannon. Holy crap. Oh, we gotta do it now. Also, rock 20 risk, baby. Oh, man. Oh, man. Hmm. We checked this out, right? It wasn't great, but it might have changed over the time. 12 damage per second, you say? I think the heat was so massive. I don't know if I should buy them now, man. Double sniper artillery. Holy crap. I kind of want it. I kind of want it, man. Just for... Just for funsies. So I'm very torn between buying two Rock 20 Risk autocannons. Should I? For the fun of it, guys, let's go. I also buy the double sniper. I know. We have no money anymore, but money is money is there for, for spending, right? Okay. So we now need Rock 20 ammo. We get some hard bins here. Ouch. And we need some sniper ammo. Which we don't have here, seemingly. Okay, we're gonna find it. Oh god. <laughs> I'm not gonna look at any other <coughs> things anymore because I am a rogue. However, the plasma rifle. The plasma rifle. No way, it was a cannon, right? We need to take a look at that. Give me a second. Where the hell is my timber wolf? Right here. This guy is running a plasma rifle right now. What did we just buy there? Uh, let me go over here. Plasma cannon, you say? Clan. What's your range? 
Uh, optimum range 600 meters. This is amazing. Um, that is really good. Okay. Weapon makes explosion damage, don't care. Heat damage 2.6, non make damage 8. Show me your show me your heat damage. Doesn't say. Okay? I think I need these in my mech. But which mech is, is, is gonna take that thing? Is it gonna be the timber? Plasma cannon on each arm instead of the mediums? Also, I think we need like plasma cannon ammo now. I need to check this. Does it say? I mean, I can, I can just check this real quick. Ah, uh, yeah. So, plasma rifle ammo double is there. Plasma cannon clan is a thing that we need. It's not here. So, we cannot really use it yet. But we have some things now. Holy crap. Okay. So, that being said, let's go ahead and seek some trouble. Where do we want to go? I think this is too low. We're going to go for the, like, really high tier stuff in the center. Battlefield 92. Ah, no. I'm gonna go for the 100 ones now. And hopefully we can play a bunch of duels here because these are very good for getting some equipment as well. Alright, let's do it. Okay, we got a container here. I don't think I want to change anything right now. So, any contract? Convoy destruction. This is so big. Ugh. Do I want that? Let me let me take a look. I don't think I want to play Convoy Destruction. These missions are not really my type. Rescue? Tier 100 against the clans? Now that sounds like a fun thing to do. It's more like it. Let's go there. Again, I'm not I'm not a not a convoy fan. Last time we got hit so hard. I might actually be intimidated. Alright. So, here we are. Independence against clans. That's a lot of salvage. I love it. We're gonna also get some money on top of that. 8 million sea bills and 52 salvage rides. That's what I like to see. Cool. And I think we really have to take our best max here. So, it's gonna be Marauder. It's gonna be... I think Stalker is better than Savage Wolf. So, we take Stalker. There we go. And... Oh god, we got the Dire Wolf. I don't think the Dire is good here. So short ranged. Let's go with this. We'll take the Timber Wolf then. Uh, maybe we should really take a look at every single store that we come around to take a look at if we can find plasma ammo. Plasma cannon ammo. That is now our goal. I want to use these things. They seem to be way better than the plasma rifle that we have right now. But maybe I need to actually take a closer look with a little bit more time to actually compare them. All right, ready for launch. Here we go. Okay, so what's a rescue contract again? I have no idea, I forgot. Ah, yes, okay, so we have to escort some of our guys to the escort zone and have to make sure that the enemies don't destroy the base at the same time. That's the rescue contract. Secondary I knew that. Investigate point of interest in the north? Ugh. We are not particularly fast. And also, I'm stuck. Hmm. What? How? What happened? He just exploded in front of us. Can I? No, I cannot. I cannot. I really want to investigate the point of interest. Usually you get some very good things out of there. I could potentially send somebody over. Nah. Not like that. Okay, here comes the first wave. Our arrow should fly by now. Yup. Logos down. On the dervish now. Clan Locos. Love it. I'm stuck again. Okay. We should be good now. So. There's another drop coming down. Interesting. 
I should really touch down again. But... Uh, I cannot send him all the way over there. Mm, okay, okay, okay. Uh, my, my goal was to get high ground, get vision on my secondary target, then send somebody in, then swap mechs to them, quickly investigate, and then get out again. While my other guys are... are still helping out the convoy dudes. Okay. We don't have to keep everybody alive. Also, I'm getting shot at. New target. Annihilator. Annihilator! Oh no! Look at him! Ow! Can we not? Please? I want to stay in motion so bad. Holy macaroni. On the leg, maybe. Pin him down. Legs are open, both of them. One down. Where's the other? We got him. Important. Okay, so Shadowhawk is a thing that we can deal with. Very good. Cool. Now an urban mech with a hag. Oh my god, these clan dudes. They... They mean business here. Alright, you get that guy. I'm gonna push the base, actually. Because I want that to not get destroyed. Yeah, you can take that, right? So, where are my friends here? Don't see anybody. Okay. So, on the Conjurer. Um, again, I'm gonna not break my stride. The base is down to 45% and it's dropping dramatically. Can I hit it? Nah, not from here. Not like that. Come on, I wanna get the extra C-bills. Cool. Unable commander invalid target. What? Why? I wanna say go to location. Affirmative commander. Weird. Ha! Ah. Gotcha. Nice. I think it was a back shot that directly breached the center. Cool, cool, cool. There's still a Nova somewhere, I think. Oh, Adder. That was it. So, convoy is here. Where's the adder? There it is. It should attack me instead of the base now. Hmm. Alright, let's try again. Try again. Yeah, we hit him. A bunch. Good. Alright. So, friends are here. I'm gonna send them over here to defend and I'm gonna investigate, I think. I should be fast enough. And I should be able to defend myself while on the way. Ooh, that's a lot of stuff coming now. It's another annihilator. Urban mech swarm. Oh, crap. Game is lagging hard. So, screw that. I'm gonna go for any now. Any down? Uh, where's the swarm coming from? Maybe we can get for or go for more headshots, actually. Okay. I guess that's our mech now, huh? Good. Where is your head? Maybe I don't care. Yeah, I really have to stay here. But where's the swarm coming? Oh, there's the swarm coming from. Okay. Right to where I want to go. Good. We got some time still. That is a lot of herbies. Okay, can you do that real quick, guys? And I'm gonna go forward. Insane. Urban Mech Swarm. That's new. Good. Down. They need two shots to the core in order to get down. Okay, AC-20 is down. I think I'm leaving it. Oh, God. At that. Do I still have ammo? I don't dare looking. You down. Nope. You are down. Ah, uh, convoy is 
done. I'm not done with my secondary, though. Oh, wait, they're sending in more people. That's good for us, actually. Stalker is getting shot a lot, by the way. Get out of my face! Thank you. The ballistic sound is so good. Okay, another one. Panther. Will found. Oh, God. There we go. Uh, I actually thought you would defend that convoy, guys. Uh, what are you doing there? Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Cool. <laughs> oh, my God. It's dervish still. Engaging designated target. Yeah, they're swarming the base. Guess they're gonna get it done anyway. I, I'm, this is just because I am greedy, all right? I want to get that secondary objective done. Out. Get these Looking good. Cool, they're fighting. That's good. All right, we're here. Jump in. Got a hundred shots left. Cool. So, investigating. We are at 80% now. We also get some extras. Okay. So, SSRM level 3 we found and obtained a tier 3 weapon. At the nav point. Alright. Get out of my way. Moving in for the kill. Here's the arrow. And I think that was the urban mech. <laughs> cool. So the base is at 14%. Technically still intact. So we did our job. Here's more things. Commando is legged. It's good. Yeah, we can deal with those guys real quick. Got him. And another one. Trying to go for a headshot on a commando. Not easy. Ursus. So good. And we're out of here. Okay. We did it. We did it. Wasn't even close. <laughs> yeah, our stalker got hit hard. We need to take a look at that guy um, in order to see if we have to repair or even rebuild it. The arrow was still intact late game. So that's good. It's a good sign. But he might have lost a side torso or so. Auto cannon, streak, an ER large laser, and all of these things. All right. I think I want another heavy laser because these are good. I think I want another ultra auto cannon. Yes, totally. The question is, annihilator, yay or nay? It's actually quite cheap. We also started on Marauder 2 Cs like ages ago. <sighs> it's another variant that we don't own yet. However, I could drop the weapon systems and and take this and then can I can now start a build on the Marauder 2 CA variant. Three ballistic on the side torso, four energy hard points, two on each arm, so. It's a Marauder 2C. It's a beautiful mech. But I think we have higher priorities. I think we're gonna take another Marauder part as soon as we find one and we don't have these juicy things in front of us here. Double Annihilator. Let's go. Let's build a big bad boy. Let's build Mecha Godzilla. Uh, clan Double Heatsink Kit for the monies. We can easily sell those. And then, and then, and then, and then, for well, three picks. Oh, this any is a little ex more expensive, but that's all right. We want to get the cheaper one anyway. Ah, this is the real Grinner. I don't care about the real Grinner, I'm sorry. 
Rifleman, no. Conjurer, no. Give me something for three. Just anything. Nothing here. Medium X Pulse. Cool, cool, cool. God, so many Urban Mech parts. I'm not gonna pick an Urby. I said anything, but not an Urby. I have standards. <laughs> Let's go. How dare you? She talk my Urban Mech. I know, right? Okay. Some Gauss ammo. Seems good. Here we go. Alright, guys. Stone Rhino got hit. Stalker got hit, but it's still intact. Nothing broke there. And that was a good mission, man. That was so good. Cool. Question. Do we... Go ahead and play another mission with the Bravo Squad now. There's still more on this planet, right? An additional layer of armor. Base defense, right? Second. You give me a second. Uh, it's a defense contract, yeah. Oh, uh, we could play that. Do we want to? Why not? We might find Battle Max here. Let's do it. Get the salvage. Get the money. And get in with the Bravo Squad, actually. So, Stone Rhino is out. And since we are playing defense, enemies will come towards us. Do we want to play the Dire Wolf with the Light Rifles? I think we want to. Let's go. Marauda is in a good shape. You are in a bad shape. We'll take you out. And the Timber also needs to be changed. Okay, so what do we replace them with? Savage Wolf is good here. Um, Orion is one torn under. We can take the Orion out for a spin. Or the Zeus. I want to quickly check. What, what is your deal here? You got an advanced UAV and the ER large lasers. And the LBX. And an LRM, right? You're not even bad. I'll take you. Cool. Alright guys, that's gonna be our squad. We have a nice mix of close range burst... And long range DPS. Should be good for a defense mission. The enemies are getting too close. I'm gonna burst them apart with my Dire Wolf. And if not, then we have the long range. God. Look at all these weapon systems. Oh my god. Love it. Alright. Chain fire group. I need it. Let's go. Uh, it's also worth noting, we have a UAV on our side today in this mission. That should be really good. Bam, bam, bam. Orbital cannons. God, I hate those. Come on, guys. Get him down. That was a triple large laser from the Zeus, but it hit nothing at all. Good. God, I love this. Streams of missiles. I'm a spammy boy. And down goes the tank. I wonder, do we have a UAV already in the sky? I, I think we do. Yeah. What do I have to do here even? Guys, leave something for me. I'll take the crab then. And... Huh. Not bad. Reloading. Obliterated. Nice. Guys, I want you to take the Locust down, please. Or Raven, whatever that is. It's worth noting, we're not shooting an optimal range. We need 400, roughly. But this kills anyway. <laughs> Light rifles, man. Oh boy. Stack them and have some fun. Uh, oh, here they come. I actually want to do a thing which might seem counterintuitive. Want to send them over to the Enforcer or Dervish, whatever that was. And now I want to close in to the big wave of mechs just to have something to shoot. Ba -ba -bam. So, Locust. Nah, not like that. I should probably chain fire against the Locust. Half of my Alpha Strike is good enough to kill. Not like that. Alright, we'll take another target then. 400 meters Thunderbolt. I want to actually see if I can 
destroy a Thunderbolt with one shot. No! Okay, the weapon's projectiles were so different that they spread all over the mech. Uh, the velocity of the projectiles, obviously. Okay. No. Stop moving around! It's the worst against light mechs. And the best at the same time. Okay, we hit him in the head somehow, but all right. Additional Borg is setting an intercept course on your position. Yeah, 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 yeah. Um, 700 meters? Is that a hole in there? It is. It was. It is a wacky build. I don't think that light rifles are necessarily the best weapon in the world, but I can totally see your argument that you guys put out there all the time that it shreds when when used in, in multiples, and uh, you get a nice pinpoint shot out. Bye. He moved again. But the projectile is so slow. Okay, that was not so good. Let's go for you. See? That was good! The other shots that we wasted, not so much. So many ravens, by the way. Interesting. I always wanted a raven in my lands early on. Never really got, got one. Liar. Here we go. <laughs> All right. I ah, couldn't get him. Such a slow projectile. Do we have an advanced ballistic fire control system here? I think it should give us predictive targeting, actually. Oh, here come the big boys! There's a Lance of Assault Max coming our way now. But again, we are slow, we have short range weapons. It takes some time. Maximum range is about 800 ish. Still respectable at that range? But hey, that's the full firepower of a dire wolf that we are talking about here. So yeah, we're gonna rebuild it. We build it back to something that makes more sense. More long range on the dire, because it's so slow. We don't have very good means to make it faster right now. But hey, we can do that. Bam, 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 bam. Good. Four more enemies, and then we are going home. Looks like you got their attention. I'm showing multiple hostiles incoming on your position. Oh, nice, a dropship. Very good, very nice. New target, Banshee. Banshee. Thunderbolt. As well as... Hellcat. Solid plant technology that we are getting here. Love it. Thunderbolt. So, the Hellcat is coming in fast. Um, nah. Get wrecked. <laughs> I mean, point blank, that thing is just a mech cracker. Holy crap. It's amazing. Also, how long do you take to take a trivichet down? Insane. That's one with a permanent record. Good. Almost there, guys. Almost there. And we even kept the base at a very nice high um, percentage. Alright. So, part of me wonders if I should go over and behind them, but I do believe that they will outrun me, so let's go and face them directly. Head on. I mean, it's the most honorable way to do it anyway, right? All right, I show you my honor, and then my other honor. Boom. Still not a kill in one shot. Not even in two. He still lives? Wow. Let's go headshot. 
try again. Reload, reload, reload. Headshot. Ah. The interference of the PPC put me off. Anyway, good mission. It was fun. We need to rebuild this though. Again, Direwolf in such a configuration without the extra speed of lag actuators or a mask or a supercharger. It just does not work. It's not, it's not great. We could think about medium rifles though. Or heavies. Let's think about it. Okay. What do we expect here? I think I want the LBX because I also want to still build my Victor Hero mech. That is a mech that I would love to bring to the battlefield. Like a mip... Something like that. Um, ER large? I don't think so. Light Gauss? Tier 4. It has very good range. Rate of fire is also quite exciting. I think I take a tier 4 light gauss. Because I want to experiment with it. Trebuchet, SRM6, Hollander. Ah, not gonna take a Hollander. LBX ammo, we have enough of that. Alrighty then. So 22 picks at our disposal that we can put in anything, and I think I'll take a Banshee. Because it's it's good value. We can at the very least sell it if we want to. We took everything, right? That we wanted? Yeah. Great. So, there's that. Killed missile carriers. Get auto cannon. Very, very good. So, in this instance, there is a hero mech on Terra. I have to take a look at that. Come on. We are not particularly well funded right now. But we have a lot of stuff in our storage that we can get rid of if we want that. That is interesting. That is so interesting. You know why? I'm looking at a 35 ton mech here. Do you know why this is interesting? First of all, we have two UAVs, which is nice. We have improved sensors. Yeah, that's okay. But then, we have 20% more range on all weapons. Alright. We have a 25% machine gun damage modifier. Uh-huh. And, and a bit of bit of missile projectile speed modifier. And then missile cooldown and missile, missile heat. It says damage modifier. Wasn't it rate of fire? Still, 25 is good. We have some Gatling guns, which work like... They count as machine guns. This is 14 million C-Bills to get an experiment done that I wanted to do for a long time. I don't know if I should do it. Okay, here's what I do. We still have some time, and I want to rebuild a little bit, and that's what we do. I'm going to leave the Yugen here where it is right now. I'm gonna take a look at it in the in the mech lab, in the single player testing grounds. See if I can build what I wanna build, and then I'll make my decision in the next episode. We're gonna stay on this planet here, but we're also gonna build a bit, so let's go ahead and do that real quick. So first of all, I want my direwolf to be better. That thing needs that thing needs some long range. And we are currently do going down the rifle path. Strip it directly. Boom. What about the other rifles? I think I want to make it mostly ballistic. Maybe give it some uh, missile support weapons. Some kind of machine that just works, you know? You have like long range targeting, right? So, LRMs, ER large lasers, ER PPCs, AC2s, LB2s, Ultra 2s, RUC 2s, AC5s, LB5s, Ultra 5s, RUC 5s, Gauss Light, and Hyper Assault Gauss. These gear get bonuses. A little bit. So it makes sense putting two hacks in the mech for a starter. But we have heavy rifles. They are 8 ton weapons. Wait a second. Wait a second. Oh, not enough free slots. Alright. More right side angle here. So, our weapon range goes up dramatically. Um, our alpha damage goes up dramatically. The weapon he's also, heat also goes up dramatically. Um, the 
damage per second goes down, so we would even shoot slower overall. We just get more front-loaded damage, but shoot slower in general. Man, rifles, I don't know. It, it's just... I, I just don't see that. What about snipes? I mean... We have these open slots for a reason, right? One sec. Uh, where is, where is my sniper? Oh, I have to put him on the side torsos. So, what about ammunition? 16 rounds. You can fill it up. Double freaking sniper artillery. If half ammo only. Is this a good idea? It's not. Let's be real. It's not. Let's not do it. Not here, not now. Not here, not now. So, the other options that we have are rather limited. Again, we could go with the hags. We could put a gauss in this. Auto cannon 10s are solid. Okay, here's what we do. We're gonna put the hyper assault gauss rifles in the mech because they have decent DPS without really generating that much heat. Gonna put two bins of ammo per. Uh, let's actually drop it on the legs because I want those side horses to be filled with other things as well. Make it a nice, well rounded mech that we can always bring to the battlefield, right? So, the other things I want is long range support. And we recently picked up some very nice LRM 15s. There we go. Get the third one as well. Makes the mech asymmetric. Which I don't like usually. Oh wait, we're out of slots here. That's unfortunate. You know what, it's fine. We're gonna leave it at that. Two LRM-15. So, we're gonna take... Ugh, ammo? No! Crap. Can't do it, because we're lacking ammo. Insane. In the membrane. Insane, insane. Huh. Alright. So then... Instead of that... We do this. Three clan ERPPC, two hyper assault Gauss rifles, and the rest is cooling. Let me take a look at if we can do that. Uh, heat bank is great. I'll take a tier two. All right. Clan double heat sinks everywhere. Okay, so well, we are wasting no tonnage, that's for sure. That's good. I think I want an ECM. Sensors. Powered? Or Sniper? I think Sniper is good. Fire control system. Yeah, here we are in a weird spot because we want to have the Ballistic and the PPC one. Also, the weapon heat is way too high, so this PPC has to go. Or is it? Huh. Heat management support. Uh, slick sweet is good. Fire control system. Yet again. I think the ballistic one is great here. Because the spread matters on a hag. The cooldown also matters more on a hag. Alright. Okay, so with this, I believe we are good. Two ERPPC, two hack 20s, and then something. But what's the something? What is a little bit of extra that we want to put on the Mac? I could see myself running two ER large lasers. One ER large laser, sorry, and another heat sink, maybe. I don't know, I always wanted to try the heavy laser build. Could we do it here? Not really. No. See, the thing is, I want this guy to be able to engage at any range. And I think this is the best way to get this done. So what we do now is... Actually, the laser insulator might be worth more... ...than a heatsink, right? Not necessarily. 
But the bank... You know what? I think I dropped the bank for just more raw heat sinking. There we go. So, all the heat sinks on the arms. And then everything here in the center. We have a nice, nice long-range fire support now. Our Alpha Strike is basically the same as before. We have way more weapon range. We have way more sensor range. Damage per second is going up. Cooling is going up. I mean, the heat is also going up, but who cares? I think this is great. So, we're gonna start the work on this. And that's gonna be our Dire Wolf. The rest of the squad, I think it can just be repaired. But then there's also the chance to think about our, bas our Basilisk, our King Crab, and our Atlas. I want the Basilisk online. I'm gonna do it now. So, currently... Hey, he's actually in a good spot. He is in a good spot. So we'll take the Jump Jets out. I don't think we need them here. Um, give it the Clan LB Axis. Because we got some goodies. Uh, one here, and then there's one on the Zeus. Oh, we give it the fives. Yeah, let's go. That's gonna be a nice fire supporter. Absolutely. Ammo out, because we need the clan ones. And then the fives as well. Uh, structure could be endo clan, easily. Got three missile heart points. I love that. Ultralight stabilized. Nah. Maybe? A bit more weight to work with. These lasers should be something that is longer range oriented. Could be the heavies, actually. Yeah. Yeah, this is, this is going places here. Absolutely. Uh, and then we have our cooling jacket that we could slap on the mech. Aha! Uh -huh. Easy. Easy peasy. And I think I want some missile support as well. But what is it going to be? Also an AMS, because AMS is always fun. Half a ton of ammo on top of that. Guardian ECM can stay. Ooh, I think this is going to be a good one. But again, which type of missile support do we put on the mech? ATMs? These are heavy. But that's alright. These are also hot. <laughs> That's not so alright. Uh, got a 300 rated core somewhere, right? No, we don't. In lower, it's just very, very minimal. I don't really want to go so low on the heat, uh, on the on the on the speed. Sorry. Can we buy a 300 rated one here? We cannot. But this is gonna be a good mag. I promise you. So how do we do it? So the 320 is gonna stay. The XL engine probably wants to be a clan one, but we want to also have the clan ones for the assault mags that are coming, the 100 tonners. Yes, I'll do it like this, with only an ATM-12. It's not my preferred way to do this, but I'll take it. Two double bins. And a bit of extra cooling, I say. How much would it cost to replace the heatsink kit? Because I think we need the slots. Let me take a look. Mm, we have the clans here, right? We have only four clan heatsinks, though. Uh, so I guess we go with the doubles. The inner sphere doubles. Max armor, let's not forget that. We're good. This is it, everybody. Just on point. I... Don't see this guy working properly with the heat management, though. I feel like this is a little bit too much. Definitely not. No, this is way too much. I'll take this double bin out. I hope this is good enough. And I, I think I'm gonna put a heat bank in here. This might help a little. It's a start. It's definitely a start. So, power sensors... What kind of fire control system? Yet again, it is so weird having that mixed build going. Energy, laser cooldown modifier, laser beam duration modifier. Makes sense. Advanced ballistic makes a lot of sense as well. It's better. Also takes a ton again. Not good. But I think we can easily shave a ton of leg armor. 
Okay, let's do it. So, 47 plus 16 is still a lot. And we have the extra structure as well. So, life support, I think, has to be shielding. Or actually, evasion. Evasion is better than shielding. And then, uh, armored cockpit, because why not? Uh, it takes, it takes uh, stuff away. No, okay. So, that's gonna be the Victor then. I'm very keen to see how it performs on the battlefield. Again, the ATM is not my preferred weapon here. I think uh, the LRMs would have been better, but we have started a build, and that's good. Okay, in order to get the King Crab and the Atlas done, I need to take apart the Jägermech, I need to take apart the Hellbringers, and the Orion, which I am not using at all anymore. And that's the thing that I'm going to do off camera, and as soon as we have that going for us, I think we're going to start building our 100 ton assault max. But again, that has been it for today, everybody. I hope you enjoyed the episode. If you did, then don't forget to leave a rating. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. And I hope to see you next time. Goodbye.